They line up, one by one, eager to get out of the classroom, off to the gym. But today isn't about sports. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, these students at Westmont Montessori School in Machosan are getting a lesson from this furry creature, a lesson that can help hundreds of students in the province deal with a situation that happens daily. We're going to tell a story about our good friend Wits Up, and uh, there's going to be some lessons in that story on how we can deal with teasing and bullying behavior when we see it. This presentation is part of a program started by the Rock Solid Foundation called WITS. The WITS program was developed following um, Rena Verk's death in um, 1998 mm -hmm. and there was a lot of concern in Victoria about bullying and children's bull relationships with each other. The WITS program stands for walk away, ignore, talk it out and seek help. There's two parts to the program, one for children kindergarten to grade three and the other for children in grades four to six. They really felt like there was a need to start earlier and to really think about how to help children solve their problems with relationships really early. Bonnie Ledbeater from the University of Victoria helped develop the program. She says they want children to feel like getting help is the right thing to do. We know that chronic bullying um, is actually uh, detrimental for children's learning, for their mental health. Um, for the children who are chronically bullied often have behavioral problems and become aggressive themselves. Unlike the younger children who are learning this for the first time, older children are eager to share their experiences. To use my wits. To use my wits. To walk away. To walk away. Ignore. Ignore. Talk it out. Talk it out. Seek help. Seek help. Usually they were just name calling, so we'd pretty much just ignore it. After a little while, they started like punching at us, so then we seeked help. I'd probably find the nearest teacher on recess duty and I'd go talk to them. And that's exactly what WITS is encouraging kids to do, whether it be a teacher or a police officer who play a big part of the program. The point and the subject hits a little bit home a little bit harder when the police officer comes in and reminds them about their wits as opposed to the teacher. While some people might think that bullying is part of the school experience, Ledbeater says that attitude is changing. She hopes one day bullying becomes a thing of the past. Yes, I do. I think that the um, kind of bullying that we really want to eradicate is this chronic bullying. Um, children who don't get help, who can't find help, who feel like it's their fault, who are repeatedly bullied, that should never happen in a school. The WITS program is also being used in Ontario, Alberta and New Brunswick and will also be moving to other communities as well. Leadbeater says the program is making a difference in schools that use it versus the ones that don't because more students are now coming forward. And parents who want to get involved and help their children learn about the program, well, there's a component to that as well. In Victoria, I'm Suchetta Singh for The Daily.